Well, I, I suppose uh, the last time round it was difficult to get candidates to run. And uh, we ended up at one stage uh, having two candidates to run. And we had to hate hunt to get a candidate to run. And, we're, and the candidate was successful in getting elected. So uh, the view, uh, I think, of most people geographically as well as everything else, and we talked about what Madeline was talking about earlier on, uh, we had, we had, Basically, we had uh, we had outgoing candidates, and I, I suppose first of all, I'd have to say that if the five candidates that were elected the last time were running, there's no doubt they'd be elected again. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, everybody else would have to fight hard, and, and probably wouldn't be successful. You know, and I'd have said that about the the five candidates that that, that ran, and the, uh, now two of them are no longer running. Uh, but geographically, you see, um, we had uh, we had two. Two uh, outgoing candidates, two sitting candidates, mm. uh, and they were quite close to each other. Uh, and then uh, we had uh, the 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 uh, candidates running up in 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 the area that Madeline was talking about, back towards Pool, Moloch, that side. So it was very hard to rule that person out. John. And what probably probably what would have happened if it had gone to vote? Maybe one of the the existing councils might have might have lost out, and they'd have to be added anyway. So the feeling among people was that if anybody is prepared to put forward their name, once there was only an extra one, let them off, let them off, and let the people decide on it. Why should 100 or 150 people go into Rome and decide we can only run three? Like, we felt that let off, the, the if you have four candidates running, let them off and let the people decide which of them are going to be elected. So 